Alabat Island National High School MAPE Department brings you the Nestle Wellness Campus Caravan in the New Normal. Module 3, Healthy Habits for Stronger Immunity Ano-ano nga ba ang tinatawag na 7 healthy habits ng Nestle Wellness Campus? 1. Choose nutritious and varied options. 2. Manage portions. 3. Choose to drink water and milk. 4. Keep good hygiene. 5. Play actively. 6. Enjoy meals together. And last, number 7, care for the planet. Have you heard of the word immune system? We also use the terms immunity or resistencia. Does anyone know what these terms mean? Immune system refers to the cells, tissues, and organs of our body that work together to protect the body against infections. Our body is constantly exposed to millions of microorganisms. A strong immune system is needed for the body to function properly and defend itself against microorganisms that prevent sickness. If our immune system is strong and functioning properly, then it can defend itself against the microorganisms that cause sickness. But if your immune system is weak, it may lose against disease-causing microorganisms. White blood cells are an important part of the immune system. They circulate throughout the body, looking for foreign bodies like bacteria, viruses, and parasites. White blood cells include neutrophils. These circulate throughout the body to look for foreign substances. While eosinophils protect the body from parasitic infections. Basophils responds during allergic reactions. Monocytes ingest invading microorganisms. And lymphocytes helps the body remember the microorganisms and destroy them. Some types of lymphocytes are as follows. We have the B cells. These are type of lymphocytes that produces antibodies a protein molecule that helps to fight off antigens. While T-cells is a type of lymphocyte that helps get rid of infected cells and cells that are different from normal body cells, such as cancer cells. Antigens are toxins that trigger the body's immune response. They may come from substances produced by invading viruses or bacteria or from the environment like chemicals or allergens. When the body does get sick because of the presence of antigens, the immune system gets rid of them and remembers how to combat the infection by producing protein molecules called antibodies. As these antibodies circulate, they attack antigens that trigger the immune response by binding to them, facilitating their destruction. The immune system is always working to get rid of any infection. You can help your immune system be stronger by practicing the healthy habits. These healthy habits strengthen your immune system so that it can resist or fight off infections, lalo na sa panahon ngayon. Palakasin natin ang ating immune system. This is the end of our Module 3, The Immune System. 
This module is brought to you by Alabat Island National High School Mapi Department. Thank you! See you sa next module!